Can I describe to you an idea I find really beautiful? It's an idea that has helped me in my moments of existential questioning when I wonder if anything I do or believe has any meaning and the absurdity of the world makes me feel like the ground is falling beneath my feet. What if none of us are here for the reasons we're led to believe? What if we're not here to make the material accomplishments that we think will lead to fulfillment and meaning in our lives? What if progress, the way we know it in a material economic sense, meant extraordinarily little in the grander scheme of things? What if we were just here to learn about what it means to be here? Experiencing, bit by bit, the full range of what it means to be alive. And by that I mean everything, with no exceptions. Your moments of joy and bliss just as much as every second of your darkest hour. And every event, every thought, emotion, and intention that ever occurred or ever will occur count for something. They aren't lost and cannot be lost. In theosophy, they call this idea the Akashic Records. It has been referred to as the mind of God. I like to think of everything being stored in our collective consciousness, in all of us, in everything we do and create. We're more connected to each other than we might think. And what if the mechanics of this were something that resembled reincarnation, but not in the two-dimensional, cartoon-like way you've been taught to think of it? What if we'd kept returning, be it through posterity, or the return of souls, or through some sort of energetic exchange, over and over again, to learn about and experience more of the bigger picture of what it is to live? And these returns are not bound by time or matter. So I might die and come back as you, or you might die and come back as me. And slowly, through this lens, the limits of where you end and I begin get blurry and even cease to exist. The boundaries disappear, but every lived experience remains eternal. What if the only reason we see beginnings and endings in the way that we do is that we are stuck in the illusion that we are separate? And so, in other words, it all matters. It all counts for something. You're not lost. You can't be lost. You can't possibly screw up, even if you tried, even if you wanted to. You're here to be doing what you're doing. There is no right or wrong, good or bad, time wasted or not wasted, just consciousness, lived experience, that thing that we're all doing right now. And our slow realization that perhaps we never left where we came from.